Hey everybody, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. I sure appreciate you coming by to check this out. Hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I'd sure encourage you to do that. Just click on that link down on the bottom here and then uh, you can be a part of the community here. So we are gonna be checking out a really sweet truck here. This is a stock unit that I brought in to serve in the heavy construction and logging industry. So this was a stock truck and it is sold. So a big thank you to all the folks at SBC Construction. Uh, for purchasing this truck's for, truck from me. And uh, let's check out the truck, see what it's all about, and we'll see you out there. All right, isn't that a sweet unit? Uh, let's take a look at what it's all about. So, like I said, this is a brand new 2021 uh, T800. It's, uh, I think, my first T800 I'm reviewing this year. Nothing has really changed at all from uh, previous year, if you will. Uh, and I have more of them on order. T800 is alive and well. We're selling a lot here these days. So this is a heavy spec truck. Uh, Going to be using the low bedding application and uh, end dumps. Uh, it has a 20,000 pound axle on the front with a 16,000 pound spring. So you got a 16K rating. Got the 385 wide steer tires. Ordered it with this uh, box bumper. So that's a lot heavier duty. When I mean boxed, it means the back end here, you can see it's kind of boxed in. It's quite, uh, quite a lot beefier. Push some snow banks with that beast. Got the extra ribs in the grill here, so you can see that there. Uh, we ordered it without a factory visor because I was I had a full intent of putting on a different type of visor, but we ended up putting the factory one back on. Uh, so that's what we got up there. Air horns and the LED roof lights up top as well. Uh, we got the 13 inch air cleaners on here. I prefer the look of the 13 inch on the T800s. The, the 15 inch look a little bit too big in my opinion. Uh, so that's kind of how I ordered it for stock. And then uh, we got the power mirrors both sides with the load lights on the mirror brackets as well. So while we're up front here, let's open up the hood. And while we're looking up close here, you can see the color. This is actually legendary blue, just a beautiful color. So this is the 565 1850 Torque. Uh, I put on the Davco fuel filter on here as well, so that's the heated uh, Davco. Uh, so that's there, and then a remote lube terminal, and then the power uh, boosting terminal there on the truck as well. Uh, truck also was ordered, I put disc brakes on it, so we got disc brakes on the front axle. And uh, so those are rated actually to, I believe, 22,000 pounds. So really heavy duty. Uh, take a look on the other side. So here's the hot side, we got your turbo. There's the additional power steering box because we got the 20,000 pound power steering box on this. Uh, over here, there's all your HVAC controls and so forth. Take a look around the back here. So we got the battery box right in here with the uh, diamond plate and then the painted end caps. Uh, we got your def tank with the polished uh, straps 
and we have the seven inch uh, fuel tank with seven inch straps with the uh, polished tanks and the polished straps as well. Uh, now this bunk size, it is a 62 inch. We'll show you inside here in a moment. Had the guys at Fort Gary Industries put this headache rack on. This is a full width, a 94 inch wide. So it goes uh, from one side of the bunk to the other. So you're not gonna get any stone chips on the, that nice beautiful paint on the back here. And then we've got the upright hydraulic tank on the back as well. Uh, it's a 244 inch wheelbase all the way across. And then we got the 46,000 pound rear axle with the Hendrickson Primax uh, right there. And this has the additional uh, torque arms in there so you can get a higher torque rating on it as well. Of course, full lockups on the back end. And then we got the uh, stainless half fenders, the polished rims as well. And then uh, the closed in back, uh, this is the heaviest duty rear cross member frame that we have available. Uh, on the back end, as far as the brakes, yes, we got the disc brakes on the back as well. And then uh, the Michelin XDS2 drive tires on 24.5 all the way around. Uh, this fifth wheel, I forgot to mention, this is a 70 ton fifth wheel. So they call this an FW70 uh, series. It's a 48 inch slide and it's a nine inch ride height and it's got the dual uh, locking for your, for your jaws there. All right, so that's a little bit about the back end. Uh, we'll go around the side here. We got your hydraulics for all the wet tanks right up there. And then uh, there is the uh, larger fuel tank on this side. Again, polished uh, end caps with the, uh, sorry, polished uh, battery, sorry, the polished seven inch straps with the polished tanks. Uh, I got thrown off here because I put the polished end caps on here. The other side's painted. Uh, that was just something when I ordered this for stock, I put that on there by mistake, but it's actually kind of a nice, nice setup. So you can do this on the DPF side. You can't do it on the battery box side. You can only put the polished on this side with the diamond plate. And then on the battery box side, if you get diamond plate on the cover, you get painted on the ends. So let's take a quick peek inside here. The customers are actually waiting for me. So I'm just doing this really quick. <laughs> All right. So what we got going on inside here, I'm just going to turn on my little light. There we go. Now we can see what's going on. Uh, we got the full gauge package all the way across. So you can see that there. Uh, we ordered it with the trailer lift axle controllers just for the logging industry. So if a guy wants to, uh, to do that, uh, we got the auxiliary lights for exterior lights right there if you want uh, for the air cleaner and for the cab. There's your lift axle controls. Uh, hazards, there's your pre-wire switch for beacons, pre-wire switch for fog lights, a PTO switch right there and then uh, air suspension, sorry, air slide, air suspension dump, and then your full locking differentials right there. Uh, ordered it with the smart wheel. Now, I like to do that with the logger applications because we have to use so many switches for other things. It frees up uh, two switches here for the jakes, two switches here for the cruise control, and then you get a nice leather wrapped steering wheel as well. Uh, on the side here, we have the additional gauges, and then uh, down below here is the uh, work lights on the mirrors and on the back of the sleeper. So uh, what else we got here? Uh, we got the Sears ultra leather seats. So those are the nice wider seats. And then we got the stowable armrests as well right there. Now I am wearing my shoes, so I'm not gonna walk back here, but uh, this is a little uh, thing that I like to put on here. This is the uh, defrost fan. That is so old school. I remember that from when I would be in the trucks with my dad when he would drive and uh, so you can actually order those from the factory, which is kind of kind of cool. I like to bring that one back. Uh, so with the 62 inch bunk, I ordered the gray interior color and it is the, obviously the diamond VIT stitching all the way around. So these upper op uh, shelves are optional, but there's a zero cost to add them. So if you want to have them, put them in. Otherwise you just get these lower ones right there. And then I have the rubber mat throughout. And then on this side here, you get the uh, long shelf with the additional storage up high. So that's a little bit about the interior. All right, so that's it for this week's video. Thanks for sticking around. And again, a big thank you to everybody at SBC for purchasing this truck from me. Big thank you to everybody over there. If you wanna check out what we have for stock, you can click up here, go to the link on my website, thekenworthguy.com. You can see what we have in inventory. So that's it for this week, a quick short video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.